Hello, everyone. This is Foltos playing Wuppo, and last time we fell down here in the spoopiest spoopy place known to spoop kind. And we gotta find a blue button that'll- Ooh, hey! Aha! There's the blue button, and we got ourselves a, uh... We got ourselves a, um, thing here in the sinkhole. Let's see here. Sinkhole. What is the ritual? Let's learn facts! Uh, rain pear. Uh, aha. Uh -huh. I see. So, something is raining on your pears. I completely understand. So now I can go all the way back up, I'm assuming. But do I want to go all the way back up? Well, I mean, I can. But again, do I want to? And here we have some kind of image of, of a guy giving a, a thing to another guy. Very impressive. Alright, we're going down here. See what's below the below. Oh. What's this? Where? Kind of looks like a place where you'd perform rituals. Well, at least I do recognize some signs we've seen in the temple. Okay. Uh, I turned on the light. I turned on another light. Okay. Um. I can put on my popo hat, maybe. Stick that in there and stick... Stick this in there. Okay. Now... Um, I think it wants... This? Oops, 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 oops. I did not mean to do that. Okay, and the top thing is a pear? I think? I'm gonna have to go back to the ritual thing and see. I can't see. <laughs> there I am. Alright, we're returning and we're looking at that, uh, the ritual, uh, thing again. Because I need to know one of the symbols. Um, it's a pear. Uh, maybe the pear's at the top. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ignore that for now. Though I'm gonna leave what I've placed and just go up top and see what that one door's about. Because there is a- ow. Well, I did not mean to jump in there. But there is a thing. Ow. Hey. Not cool, yo. Leave me be. I'm cute. Ow! Hey! Stop it! Alright, so we're gonna head as far up as I can. Go ahead and save here to replenish my health. We can head over here. This door should now be opened. It is a little bit lower than I uh, predicted, but that's fine. For some reason, I just assumed that that one would work, but, you know. Now, will I find a pear in here? There's a thing. It is the universe. Ooh. Okay, well. That, that's, that's lovely, but... Um, can I shoot it? No, I still need a pair. What the heck's a pair? Are, are you a pair? Uh, uh, d d d d hmm, I might just have to invest, uh, experiment with objects here, huh? Very troublesome. Unless it's something that I can buy up top. In which case, let's just wander about up top real quick. 
I can go ahead and take this, assuming I can make the jump. I can just make this upper jump here, and then we'll go ahead and... There I am. Go this way, and nope, can't, can't go that way. Okay, down, please, down. There we go. Alright, up we go. So I need to find a pair. Now there's a possibility I already have a pair, but we're gonna we're gonna investigate around to see if there's a pair here somewhere. Hello, yes, food drop. Do you by chance have a pair for me? I would appreciate one pair, please. This is the Fnacker Hive entrance. It's pretty crowded with Fnackers, so you want to make sure nobody knows that you are, you know. But don't worry, you can wear me. I've got you covered with that lovely Fnacker aroma. If you wear me or any other Fnacker helmet, you should be safe. Alright, um, hello, yes, I would like one pair. Do you guys know where I can get a pair? Uh, is there a pair up top? Or am I misunderstanding the symbol? I have no idea. Let's go over here. Hi, what do you want? Hello, yes. I would like to buy one pair. Uh, you have a light bulb. Uh, a rock. Okay. Nope, that doesn't help me. Okay, well. I'm sure a pair will become apparent to me eventually. Oh, <laughs> oh! Funny joke. Let's see. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm also gonna explore this. Wah! Uh, Wah! Alright. Can't do anything there. But I did see another thing over here. Ah. Hello? Someone there? The sight is really bad. I'm the Owl Snacker! Uh... Do you know the Owl Stanker and Alice Vater? Who? Sorry, I don't know them. And why are you wearing the same hat? This hat? I found it fair and square. How about the projector? That? Oh, I don't know what that is. I've never used it. Do you know how it works? You need film strips. Film strips? Makes sense, I guess. Well, if you find any, let me know. Will do. Alright, let's see what he has to say about the ritual. This looks... I don't like it. Three stupid symbols and three ugly drawings. The first drawing looks like a bunch of trash. Then there's a cloud with rain. Ew, I hate water. The last one looks like some nasty raw fruit. I wouldn't eat that in a million years. Oh great, there's more. Yeah, I can barely make sense of this. Something something, a bunch of items. Then more ugly one-armed snackers. <laughs> I didn't notice how ugly they are. <laughs> Did you see those dumb faces? <laughs> that turned out to be pretty funny. Here, take this. Is it a pear? No, oh, no, it's it's just it's just that stuff. Okay, well. Hello, yes, I would like one pear. Do you know where I could get one? This is the Fnac Ball Arena. Some strange people seem to have built this place. No idea what their intentions were, but we play Fnac Ball here now. Oh, it looks like there's a huge match there that's about to start. All right, let's watch. Or go down this hole. Stupid knife. Too busy partying. What's wrong? Half of my team didn't show up for the match today. Today is a really important match. We can win the Fnac Ball Cup. Ah, oh, everything is lost. Unless some sort of legendary Fnac Ball player falls out of the sky or something. Guess what? What? I'll help you. You can help me? You know how to play Fnac Ball? Nope. 
Well, whatever, it's not that hard. You just get the mud ball to smash on the side of your opponents. There are no rules or anything. Just splash it on the side. Got it? You bet. Great, let's get you on the field. Oh, wow! I've always wanted to play Fnac Ball, but I never could because, you know, I'm too small. But together, we're actually taller than all the other Fnackers. <laughs> let's show them how awesome we are. All right. Well... I guess I'll do this because I can't find a pair. Oh, look, a film strip. This one says. Uh, this one says. This one says. Why can't I see anymore? Huh. Oh, there we go. That was weird. Music. Interesting. Oh, oh, gotta put on my hat. Can't go that way. Hey, big guy, would you move aside? We've got a match to watch. Slandrick Birthmans, open the door! Okay, remember what we talked about. Splash the mud ball on the other side. That's all you have to do. I'm ready! Now get on the field. Okie dokie. Fnackers, welcome to the biggest match while we're still in this weird city! Since you might have our next big match on the surface with the blue sky above our heads, I decide to hand out the Fnac Ball trophy to the winning team. The first team that scores 10 points wins! Ready, set, go! Oh, alright, I got this. I figured it out, you just do this. Eh! Oh. Oops. Um, I accidentally hit the, the, the thumbstick? Or something? So, yeah, I meant for that to happen. I don't even know how it happened, but it happened. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> that works. Uh, okay. Wonder if there's a, it's like volleyball and they can only hit it three times. Hey, that that works. I am putting a lot of effort into my movements here. Yeah, you can't defeat me. Just give up now, busters. Please? This is getting silly. Wait, there's no rules. Can, can you just... Just stop. Stop. Hey. Thank you. Stop. Hey. You guys need to cut it out. Stop hitting it back. Yeah. Eh. Oh, that works. Hey, thanks, buddy. We almost lost a single point. We can't have that. Oh, I lost a point. Man. Everything is ruined. I'll never win a snack ball game at this rate. Man. Ugh, it's just, there's just no chance I'll ever win. Hey, buddy. 
I'm just, I'm just gonna stand up here. Yeah, that works. Hey, look at that! Heh. I did it! Yeah! <laughs> and the left side wins! Yeah! Time to hand out the prize! The Fnac Ball Trophy, made out of soft mud and crushed rocks, now belongs to Slandric Berkman and Moogle Handbrad! And well, since the other team fought so hard, they can have a consolation prize! And that's it, Fnackers! There's still a party going on on the left side of the city. It should be time for food by now, right? Nobody knows what happened to Shnef Nakia yet. Oh well, you'll know how to enjoy yourselves. See you on the surface! Alright, well, that was fun. I got a trophy. Uh... I wonder if that's a pair. Will that count as a pair? I should give it a try, maybe. Now, this place is sort of spooky with the spooky fog going on around here. And then there's this. Can I go up here? I can. But I can't really access it, so... Never mind. Alright. Hmm. I'll check the left side to see if I can't find something that may or may not be a pair. But, you know. There's gotta be a pair somewhere. You can't just hide. Excuse me, do you know where I can find a pair? Uh. I would like some answers. Why are you here? Okay, that guy did not have a pair. Okay, mm, I'll just try things at the pedestal where the pair would go and see if anything uh, signifies pairdom. That's about the best I can do here. So let's head on down. I probably want to put on my glowy hat. Gonna have to walk back all the way to the place that you can stay when you're spooked out in a house. Gotta be careful when you're being spooked. It's the truth. Down we go. All right. Okay, so let's do the same thing again. Um, I need my popo hat. I'm gonna set these up. Gonna light these. Okay, now I need to put the things up there. And up there, I need something. Uh, let's try food grains? Food grains. Uh, let's try this. Maybe that works. Okay. Oh yeah, I could have asked the parrot. Hey look, it worked! Yeah! <laughs> uh, now what? Oh. Oh! Scary! Ah! Hide! No! Ah! Something scary is going on! Ah! Panic! Panic! Oh! It's a ghost! Greetings! It has been a very long time since I have been formally invited into this world. Thank you for your sacrificial objects. I especially like the edible object you brought me this, this time. In return for your no good, I shall bring new newest to the ones you have lost. What? Oh. 
Now I shall return to Cranktorium and continue building a world for my fnootful inhabitants. I thank you for your contribution. May our worlds connect in peace one day. Farewell! Oh, okay. Uh... Whoa. That was terrifying. A huge mud stream devoured our entire city. Who may you be? You look different. I'm from the future. You are not bleak like us. Do you know if city is still intact? Sort of. Structures proudly built by Bleakin. Bleak imagine they are indestructible. You people living there now? No, the Fnackers live there now. Fnackers. Bleak does not know a Fnacker. It must be future people, too. Does anyone else live in city? The Bankrent. The Bankrent, of course! Bleak can ask him what to do. Bankrent always say he knows what is best for Bleakin. Bleak, remember we are we're all feeding the Bankrent mud. Does Bleak suggest that Bankrent had something to do with the mud stream? Bleak, we fed him endlessly, but the Bankrent always wanted more. He must have gotten too much at some point. Bleak is right. Bankrent wiped out our entire civilization! Fanakers are feeding it mud too. Bleak is worried it is going to happen again. Now Bleak can know that Blankrent is still alive. We must prevent feeding Blankrent at all costs. Or else the entire world will be crushed by massive mud stream again! Bleak has to talk to Bankrent! Maybe we can sort things out in a private conversation. What about the Fanakers? What about them? They will attack us. That is not good. Bleak wants a conversation with just the three of us and Bankrent. We must lure Fanakers somewhere else. Does Wum have an idea how to do this? Uh, maybe with food? Maybe Fanakers can be lured with food? I'll try to think something. Oh, before Bleak forgets, Bleak has something that might help you. Uh, it's a thing. Bleak can use melodies to activate things. This instrument can produce five different notes. With the right combination, Wum can activate Bleak and technology. Wum can change tone using left stick. Note combinations are usually displayed on the devices. Wum should be able to open doors in this room. Okay. Uh, oh, I see. I get it. Wum did good. Now let's find a way to lure those snaggers away from Bankrent. Oh, yeah! I got friends! And I also have a fun musical note. I see. Man, okay, so this was a fairly productive adventure today. Although it was a little awkward at first, but I at least got it sorted out. I guess next time... Yeah, it's not spoopy anymore down here. How interesting. Next time, we'll go ahead and try and lure the Fnackers away so we can prevent the scary face from causing a giant mudslide that destroys the world. We don't want that. He can eat other things. <laughs>